Hello everybody, this is MD Starcraft. The MD does not mean I have a degree in Starcraft. It stands for Maryland. That's where I live. It's a nice little state on the East Coast. And today I have for you a Starcraft 2 replay commentary with me doing the commentary if you didn't figure that out. It is going to be between ATN Dark Force, spawning as the Red Zerg, and Shark GSJOW. I'm just going to call him Shark. I assume that this is all clan tags or something like that horse professional team or whatever so this is a best I don't know if it's a best of three it's a three game series it might have been a best of five might have been a best of whatever best of well, you know what who knows if it would be even if it was even a best of whatever series it's a three game series I don't know why I said that at first um the first map is going to be Zell Naga Caverns this very strange map that uh came out it was one of the only maps um that was added into the map pool uh that was different from the ones in the beta at launch since I think they've added one or two more different, or at least the 1v1 map pool. I'm pretty sure this was the only one added in that wasn't in the beta. Um, so we are going to have Terran versus Zerg here. Uh, Dark Force, I think, is now the guy I've cast the most games from. Do note he is not going for the fast speedling build where you get your gas at 13, so he's probably going to go for a bit more macro. And uh, Shark is not going to wall in with the supply depot, worrying about a Baneling bust, because Baneling bust, uh, such an easy way to win. So fun. Uh, anywho, we do have this drone trying to harass, but this SCV is going to chase him away. Ooh, big, strong SCV. Anywho, pretty standard game going down. Ooh, ooh maybe not. Looks like Dark Force is going to go for a 15 hatch, so I wouldn't exactly call it standard, but I wouldn't call it cheese. It's just different. It's a more econ build. I think this is the Hydra build, as some people put it. Uh, we have Shark doing a pretty standard thing, though, getting the gas, getting the Brax, just completely standard out the face. Uh, anywho, I am finally casting games. Again, I took such a long break because there's the Left 4 Dead 2 DLC and the Borderlands DLC. And also making plans to go to MLG DC. If you don't know what MLG is, it's Major League Gaming. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, the website says they're going to have a StarCraft 2 thing. And because I'm in Maryland and DC's, it's technically its own state or something like that, but I consider it always to be in Maryland, uh, I'm going to go there because as a good old Maryland representative, I should go. Uh, I'll probably try to put a lot of photos, maybe try to get some footage uh, up from that event on this of some professional StarCraft 2 players and whatnot. And here we do have the gas finish for Dark Force. Maybe he's going to transition in to get that pretty uh, fast speed build. I mean, not as fast as the fast speed build, but considering he went for fast expansion, pretty fast. Anywho, we do have a shark going to factory. So he put a supply depot down anyway. Uh, I guess when he realized that there wasn't a mainling bus going down, uh, just to complete the wall in. There hasn't been any kind of aggression from either players. This factory probably going to put out a Hellion or something to do some aggression, as Dark Forces expansion is almost done now. Uh, getting his queen, getting Zerglins, just all kinds of stuff. I like this Overlord positioning right here. Uh, Overlord positioning, what a great way to sacrifice it. And map, people really don't check over here. Zerg players, they position their Overlords here almost 100% of the time. I know I do. We do have metabolic boost going down, so these little zerglings will be faster. Faster, faster, faster. Anywho, uh, more drones coming out. Nothing too complicated going down. It's interesting to see, ooh, that was a really fast Hellion. This factory hadn't even finished and that Hellion was coming out. He's got factory hacks. Do -do 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 -do. Anywho, second gas is up for a shark. So, he's got a lot of resources. Very interesting see what he's going to do. Is he going to throw down a starport? Is he going to throw down another factory? He's going to throw down a... Ooh, command center. Ooh, we have an expansion going down. Realizes that Dark Force wants to play a uh, back macro game. Is going to try to macro himself with his nice little expansion. We do have a Roach Warren coming down, so it looks like Dark Force did anticipate the factory or the Hellions from that coming out. And you might have seen this with the Zergling. Yeah, he did. This Hellion's got one kill, so he probably saw it. So we have the Roach Warren coming down to defend it. Queen should be able to hold it off for the time being. There's this gnat on my screen that I'm at the moment trying to swat away, but he doesn't want to go. So, anywho, here comes the Hellion. Maybe gonna get this drone kill. Yes, he did get a drone kill. Oh, such a proud little Hellion. He's probably gonna kill these Zerglings, too. No. Is speed almost done? Speed's almost done, so these Zerglings will soon have their kill on the Hellion. This Hellion not running away. These two probably going to go in a little bit. Darn it, missed the gnat again. Uh, anywho, do still have the expansion going down, and another barracks that looks like going to be transitioned into some kind of uh, bio ball. Very common. Oh, speedlings coming in. Looks like these aliens aren't going to be able to do too much, as the speedlings are going to get them anytime. Now, they are trying to get us around. They aren't doing just the regular hitting. Uh, I would just A attack. I wouldn't try to get us around. Helen's very hard to get us around on when they're just moving, if the guy's controlling them at all. 
Uh, so like I said, we do have Shark transitioning into Eminem. He's getting Marauders, Marines, throwing another axe, and he's also getting Stim, which is pretty close to being done. We have three Hellions now. This Hellion kind of running in just to get hit a few times. I think these Hellions could just beat these Speedlings back now. We have an Armory going down. This is right, the Armory. Uh, so we're going to have Thors, as we do have a Tech Lab going down. So we're going to have Thors to, uh, love Thors. Fear the Thunder. I was actually playing Left 4 Dead 2, like I said, with a guy. His name was Thor is here. And I told him, hey, I play StarCraft 2, and we had a fun little time. We totally owned his team, but whatever. Just nice to see that cross-game promotion of awesome units like the Thor. Maybe I'll find a StarCraft 2 player named, like, uh, it's a Spittergoo or something like that. Anywho, I digress. Left 4 Dead is a great game, by the way. So we do have a starport going down. So delayed starport, probably going to see some medivacs pump out of that thing. We don't have Dark Force committed to anything yet because his uh, lair is going down. He has a few roaches out probably to deal with those Hellions. He's got four now at the moment, I think. Maybe five. I don't see one. Getting his lair up only has two gases, one at each base. Hasn't started extending the creep too much. Has no creep tumors coming out of the base, only one at it. His main. He does, however, have a third queen off two bases, so he's probably going to be uh, dedicated to that. It does look like Shark has secured his natural. I'd like to see Speedlings come in from behind, because they came from behind, as we all know. Ooh, these roaches going out as these Hellions are coming in. Man, what are these Hellions doing down here? I guess they're waiting for another expansion down there. They do realize that these rocks are here, though. Creep being spread. Glittery Constitution coming down, so it looks like roaches are going to be stuck with. Uh, as Thor's coming out, do have, so it looks like we're going to have... Bio ball with a Thor or two. Very nice uh, addition there with the Thors because there is a Spire going down, and as we all know, Thors eat Mutalisk for breakfast. Like, nom 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 nom. Uh, it's not much happening now at the moment. First Thor is about to pop out. I wonder if he's going to be able to walk through this. Here he comes. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 I don't know why I just started singing the Mario theme. Uh, he, these Hellions miss Micro getting completely owned. This guy still has three kills, though. I wonder if that was the original Hellion. This bunker down here, kind of good position. He would have liked it more back in the line, because Zerglings and stuff can just come through here. So it looks like he is going to throw up some racks to try to prevent the Zerglings from running in there. First Thor is up. It looks like Dark Force is going to secure this base over here. Securing your third on this map, very touchy, very weird predicament, because there are several third bases you can secure. You can secure this one to try and make a ring. You can secure this one because it's gold, and you don't have to destroy these rocks back here and keep bouncing forth. Or you can secure this one over here, because it's still kind of close, but it's also out of the way, so your opponent won't really attack it that often. So it looks like we did finally have that speedling run by, however. Shark's men were standing by to own its face, and we do have the Baneling Nest going